Welcome to Shovel Crew, to the very last Pillowcase of Doom Summer Slasher Edition. I hate to see this one go, this, one, this one's been mm -hmm. a fun one. It is her turn to pick from the pillowcase. What will this pillowcase say? Let's find out. No baking. Oh, 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 look at there. Did you pee? No. Oh my gosh, she picked Hatchet 2. Let me guess, you've seen this one before. Yeah. <laughs> Let me guess, you've probably seen this one uh, probably more than I can even count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'd say, I'd say uh, Insane here has probably seen this one at least 50 times if, or not more. I mean, is that safe to say? Yeah. yeah. We're watching Hatchet 2, directed by Adam Green. Let's get on this one. Mm -hmm. The pillowcase is spoken. She likes what it has said. It is telling us, watch Hatchet 2. Let's go, Boogaloo. No, Creepy J did not write on this. This is actually Adam Green's signature. Question, Dark Sky Films, is it really necessary to have nine minutes worth of previews before we even get to the menu? At least we can skip them. I call shenanigans on that. So BJ being the camera operator of Hatchet 2, he actually go, goes on and directs Hatchet 3. So that's really cool. He's, he's getting a lot of work right now too because he just uh, he just did Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Uh, oh, Adam. <laughs> Adam puking. Don't they just make you want to stew, you know? <laughs> some nice uh, corn. Corn. A little bit of uh, carrots. Dude, the cameos in this movie are just crazy. Joe Lynch, Gunnar Hansen. I mean, there's just like so many. Uh, Sean Ashmore. Yep, yep. Iceman's in here, right? Yep. Yep. The the kid that's playing a young Samson is Cody Snyder, which is D. Snyder's uh, son. So what are the chances that we get a fifth movie? I hope. I hope too. It's like, what's Adam doing? I mean, come on, Adam, let's uh, uh, uh let's get going. Dude, that's a fucking <laughs> yeah, gnarly kill. And I keep going and going. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I know Kane would love to do Victor Crowley. Again, oh yeah. Oh so, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the first movie, you had the Manson song for the for the intro. The second one, you have uh, Ministry. Uh, the third one, you had Guar. Uh, the fourth one, which was Victor Crowley, they didn't call it uh, Hatchet for, uh, but they they uh, you had Victor Crowley, you had McMaster band Igniter. So, I mean, it was really cool because, you know, his old band, Dangerous Toys, did the uh, track that was on uh, Shocker. Uh, demon Mail, Demon Mail. So, mm -hmm. spe speaking of music, um, well, today we got the announcement, or I guess it was technically yesterday, we got the announcement that uh, Asanon Kills is going to be doing a uh, Terrifier song. Ooh. Yeah. Now Asanon Kills is going to do a Hatchet, Hatchet song. That would be fucking awesome. Clee, <laughs> Clee just having a hard time getting into that boat. So I'm guessing that Terrifier song is just going to be a one-off for the soundtrack for Terrifier 3. It's, it's about time for Us on Kills yep. to give us another album. So yeah. So with this uh, Trent and uh, Victor Crowley fight, we're getting a Jason versus Leatherface fight. True? True. Really cool. Now... If only Trent was able to just pick up that fucking big ass yeah, chainsaw. Big ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that fucking huge chainsaw that likes to get balls out. <gasps> oh. oh, God. <laughs> Curb stomp. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <It's odd. laughs> just, Blink. Dude. Guys, if you have not watched Hatchet 2, this fucking shit has the craziest death scenes in it. I mean, just... It's hard to pick. Oh, yeah. Picking our favorite kill scenes gonna be impossible. I mean, it's just impossible. Just watch this whole film. It's just, it's got them one after another. You hatchet-faced fuck. I completely forgot Overkill was on the end credits. Hey, Heavy Metal Bros, 
Why have we done that overkill list shit? Come on. Give me a call. We can do this. The big question. Do you like that movie? <laughs> I mean, I always ask after we watch these movies. I know. I, I always ask, do you like it? So I, I had to ask, do do you like this movie? I love it. Is it a is it a top twenty movie for you? Um, how about top ten? I kind of figured it was not top ten range. So I mean, that leads me to the next question: When are you gonna do your top ten horror movie uh, video for these people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll talk about that off the screen. Um, yeah, the, this movie, I mean, it's just like, let the blood flow. It, it's flowing awesomely in this movie. I mean, it's just, that's just a fact. It just flows. God, I mean, I, I really, I don't, I don't even want to sit there and tell you what my favorite kill was. Because it's too hard. But, I mean... I really love that Joe Lynch kill where it was like, you know, they were talking about, you know, the it was kind of a flashback or the story, you know, how he fucking gets his jaw ripped off. Oh, God. Dude, that was awesome. And, I mean, you can't go without saying the sander. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, sanding his skull down to his yep. brain. Brain. And, and that was enough. It was like, holy shit. But no, nah, that wasn't enough of nope. Victor. No. <laughs> he had to fucking go father. So what what, what would you uh, what would you say your your favorite kill of the whole movie was? I mean, I love the chainsaw. Oh, the God. big, I mean, <laughs> I big Dude, that saw. chainsaw is so fucking big. Yes, it is. I mean, you went through two guys <laughs> this Right. <laughs> and then you got to sell little nuts little hanging. Nuts. <laughs> Dude, such a fun slasher movie. That's how fucking slasher movies should be. I'll take all kinds of slasher movies and all honest with you, but that is just, that is purely amazing. I loved it. Now that I've seen that again, it's been, a, it's been a <laughs> few years since I've seen Hatchet 2. Now I'm like, uh, I'm going to have to have a double feature of uh, Hatchet 3 and Victor Crowley now. Oh, yeah. You know I'm up for that. Oh, I know you would be up for that. So, guys, if you're out in the swamps of Louisiana and you're afraid you may hear a ghost, it, it's okay. Just stay spooky and keep it disheveled. <laughs>